Anna, reporting for duty. Hey, what's up guys? Sam from Cuba Studios here, and I'm gonna try something new, but it's a sort of video that I've been wanting to do for a while. And I'm loving Overwatch and really want to do some videos in this game as well, so this was the perfect mix. I hope you guys enjoy this, and give me some feedback in the comments and on Twitter. To the topic at hand here, Overwatch's new character has just been announced and is now live on the PC PTR. Farrah's mom, Anna, the newest support being added to the game, which I think is the biggest role needing some love. So let's take a look at some of her abilities. Anna's primary weapon is her biotic rifle that fires two different types of rounds. Healing rounds if you hit an ally, and damage over time rounds if you hit an enemy. I think it's important to note the damage over time. If we slow it down and look at this headshot on a Widowmaker, it doesn't instantly kill her, but it gives her this purple aura, which is probably the DOT, and the damage does appear to be pretty significant. Widow has 200 health, so that's a pretty sizable burst for a single shot. The damage seems to be significantly more than the heal, as we see the heal taking place on a Tracer doesn't bring her back to full health, and Tracer has even less health than Widowmaker at 150. Also, it appears Ana's sniper is a hit scan, just like Widowmaker when it's zoomed in, and it isn't hit scan when she doesn't zoom, similar to Hanzo. Next, much like Mercy, Ana has a sidearm, which fires a sleeping dart at an enemy, putting them to sleep. This also seems to be a sort of stasis effect, not like any hard CC, because her hero page notes any damage will wake them back up and interrupt the sleep period. But if it goes uninterrupted, the sleep state appears to last for about 5 seconds, if you count it out in the video, which seems like a great way to shut down alts like Deadeye, but not really sure how good this would be in solo queue, because some random Hanzo will probably just shoot them in the foot anyway even though they're asleep and wake them back up and not kill them at all. Ana's other basic ability is her biotic grenade which much like her primary weapon will heal allies and damage enemies in the explosion radius but also has a secondary effect in that allies hit with this will receive boost to their healing for a short time and enemies hit by this will be unable to be healed for a short time which to me is kind of setting her up to be a pretty solid mercy counter and possibly even a counter to Roadhog and Soldier 76 as well as they're pretty dependent on their self heals. Her ultimate is her nano boost ability which locks onto allies so you can't miss it and which basically just buffs all of their stats. They move faster, they deal more damage, and they take less damage. It's kind of like a stim pack sort of deal. It's a pretty basic ultimate but given the right heroes in the right situations could make the world of difference. And I also think it's worth noting that Ana has no passive ability like Hanzo and Genji do that allows them to climb up walls and do crazy ninja shit. So I have no idea how in the trailer she starts off in that high point on the Temple of Anubis because she has no way to get up there other than maybe like a friendly junk rat boosting her up. That about covers it on the newest Overwatch hero, which I should also mention in case you aren't aware, will be completely free to all players. That's it from me guys, but I want to hear your thoughts on Ana. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about her and how she will affect the meta. Personally, I feel she is going to end up more like a Symmetra type support, where you still kind of need another support with you, like another Lucio or another Mercy. You can tweet at me your thoughts too. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, those links are in the description below this video and share this video around maybe on the overwatch subreddit and even throw a subscribe this way if you enjoyed this video thanks for watching everyone and have a wonderful day and i will see you around mm -hmm.